Let's create a pulse width modulation patch in Reactor Blocks. I'm going to start from scratch. So file new ensemble and we get this blank patch. I'll close the panel view and we'll just work with the patching view. Let's go into Bento Box and bring in the oscillator. We need an LFO, so bring that in. We're going to need a VCA, so let's bring that in as well. And lastly, from the Utilities folder, let's bring in the note in module. We don't need these inputs, so I'll go ahead and delete that. All right, so let's now start patching. Let's take the note in pitch output and plug that into the pitch input on the oscillator. Let's take the gate out and plug it into the mod A on the VCA. We're going to use the pulse output of the oscillator, so let's take that output and plug it into the input on the VCA. And then finally, the VCA is going to go to the main output. So the CV output from the note utility is going to go into the pitch input and set the pitch on the oscillator. The gate output from the note utility going into the mod A is going to trigger the VCA and we'll set that up on the front panel. Now we're going to use the LFO's output to modulate the pulse width on the oscillator. So let's take the LFO output and plug that into the mod A input on the oscillator. Now we want to see what's happening here so we can use the scope module. Let's plug the pulse output into the input on the scope module. Now let's head over to the front panel and this is what the different modules look like. I'll rearrange things here a little bit. Maybe we can have the VCA after the oscillator. For some reason it doesn't want to go. All right, there we go. So we have the audio signal path up top and the control signal path at the bottom. And of course the scope over here. So I'll click on A here, and that's where the modulation input is coming in, the gate output from the note in. Let's click and drag over here so it'll affect the level. And now when I play notes, you can see that the level on the VCA is jumping up to that particular value. On the scope, we can see the pulse output. Now for pulse width modulation. This is the pulse width dial on this oscillator section. We can manually adjust it. But we want the LFO to modulate this. Now the LFO output is going into the mod A input over here. So we can click here. And now we can click and drag here. And immediately you can see how the LFO is modulating that pulse width. This is at maximum. I'll tone it down a little bit. And also speed up the LFO. We're trying to simulate vibrato, so approximately around 5 Hz would work best, and the modulation amount should also be very subtle. So this is one way to fake vibrato without actually modulating pitch. Now you can play around with the amount value here, as well as the speed of the LFO to get this a bit more customized to your own taste. Alright, so that's our pulse width modulation patch. Let's go ahead and save this. File, save ensemble as. I'm going to put my initials and call this PWM with LFO. I already have that, so I'll go ahead and replace it. And that's our patch. I hope that was helpful. And please stay tuned for more Reactor Blocks patching. <laughs>